Okay, I just got one thing to say. Debbery Diner in Debbery, Florida. Close your doors. If you can't respect the office of the President of the United States, no matter who's in it, close your doors. You don't deserve to operate in the United States of America if you can't respect the Commander-in-Chief. I don't care who's in the office. It's the office of the President. Not the persona of the President. As far as I'm concerned, Darby Diner, close your doors. You disrespectful little quank. You think you can do whatever you want to in this country and there's no problem with it? I got news for you. I got a big problem with it. I got a real big problem with it. My biggest problem is this. His people allow you to continue to operate. If it were up to me and I was in charge of the IRS, I'd be looking into your tax information right now. Better yet, if I were the state of Florida, I'd investigate your business and find out just what you're really about. Because to be honest, to tell people that just because they support somebody that's in the office of the president, that if they like that person, they can eat somewhere else, you should have been shut down that day permanently. That's treason, dummy. Didn't you realize treason doesn't have an exact definition? All you got to do is basically attack the president or the office of the president in any way, shape, form, or fashion. And I got news for you. You're guilty of treason. You're guilty of a lot more than that in my book. But you know what? We'll keep it simple and call it treason for the day. But. My personal opinion is this. You don't deserve to operate. So do me a favor. Take that sign down and put one up that says permanently closed. Take your ass somewhere to fuck else. Like Cuba or something. And try some shit like that. They'd shoot your ass deader than a doornail. We're talking against the Red Gum Commander in Chief. But because of the way the laws are here in the United States, you think you have freedom of speech to say whatever the hell you want and put whatever the hell you want on the front of your business? I got news for you. No, honey, you don't. Freedom of speech only goes so far. And then there's other laws that are constitutionally allowed and constitutionally clear on the federal level. You attacked the office of the president, not the person in that office. So as far as I'm concerned, from one U.S. citizen to another, shut your fucking doors and don't open again. Because, uh, personally, I would boycott your business and block people from doing it if I were in Derby, Florida. I'd make sure you never opened again. You never had a single paying customer come in again. If I had to stand there in the United States military uniform and do it, I would. Because that's treason to talk against the president, no matter who they are. No matter whether they're Republican or Democrat, you're blaming the president. And a lot of that shit is Congress, honey, not the president. You might want to see your congressman, not the president. So do me a favor. Until you can do right and quit talking against the office of the president, don't open your doors no more. Shut your businesses' doors, you treasonous little suckers.